Hello and welcome to the very special St. Patrick's Day blog! Yay! It's that time of year again, time for some drunken debauchery and Celtic charms. I thought, being the generous soul that I am, I would give you my do's and don'ts of St. Patrick's Day. So treat this as kind of a, a survival guide. So here we go! Definitely, 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 definitely start early. I mean, this, this is a perfect situation, especially for you students. Like, you can drink from any time in the morning and no one can judge you. Like, what other day, other than maybe Christmas, can you do that and get away with it? And even Christmas, it's in the comfort of your own home. You can walk stride on into any pub in the country. Barkeep! A beer, please. You realise it's 7.30 in the morning. Don't care, it's St. Patrick's Day, for Christ's sake. Have a vodka with breakfast, a brandy with brunch. What about second breakfast, you say? Well, absolutely, my friend. Have another vodka, have a whiskey, have a beer, you monster. Come on, don't be a prick. Look, drinking's like a religion to us, okay? Like, you gotta treat it with the same reverence that you would anyone else's religion. Like, you wouldn't want to offend people, would you? Throwing it up on the streets, that's sacrilegious. If traditional Irish music comes on, you dance like a loon. You have my permission. Do you know what? Pretend that you know how to river dance. Do it. Anytime Say La Vie by Bewitch comes on, I pretend to do it. Dance like a loon. Go on, get involved. <laughs> It's great, everyone loves it. And I mean, all the songs sound exactly the same. Some prick on some pipes. Get your jig on, sunshine. Don't do the accent though. Look, I don't care how good your Dylan Moran is, how good you think you can do a Daryl Breen. Maybe, maybe you rock a Mrs. Doyle or a fathered head. I don't care. Don't do it. You can't do it. No, none of you can do it. You think you can, you can't. You're just going to embarrass yourself, it's going to be awkward, it's going to be offensive to us. Don't do it. And the worst thing, do not do this. Don't go up to a barman. This applies mainly to you really attractive girls. Don't go up to a barman and go, Oh, hello there. I'm Irish, don't you know? You might not have noticed me lovely, melodious voice because of me low-cut top and me lovely boobs. But can I trouble you on this day of my forefathers for a free point? Could I? Ah, oh, you're too kind. Then a genuine Irish person like me comes up and goes, All right, mate, how are you doing? Can I have a free pint on this day of our forefathers? Nah, don't give it to me. Don't do that. You're ruining it for the rest of us. We, had to, we earned this status by virtue of where we were plunked down by destiny. Don't take it away from us. I know you think it's a lot of fun to be Irish, but uh, it ain't no fun. All you get is constant, a barrage of abuse about potatoes, about leprechauns, about being thick, about... Because it doesn't matter how intelligent you are, as soon as you got this voice where you leave out half the consonants in every word, and you don't get to be cool. Being cool doesn't happen for an Irish person. This is our one day to be... To be, you know, treated with, well, certainly not, maybe not respect necessarily, but treated with love and joy. So be nice to us. Buy us a wee pint. Give us a snuggle. All right? Thank you. Don't claim to be Irish, though, okay? That's not, now, I know everyone really wants to be Irish because of all the fun and the, all of the gag, the crack. Don't claim to be Irish, like, I don't care if your husband, sister's, great-grandmother's dog was Irish way back in the day. You ain't Irish, okay? I don't care how much you think you know about the history. I don't care that you wear green sometimes. I don't care if you're ginger. I don't care how much you think you know about Finn McCool. I don't care if you spent 25 minutes growing up in Dublin as a kid. You've got Tunbridge Wells written all over you, sunshine. Don't take this away from us. This is our day. We're sharing it with you, out of the goodness of our hearts, and because we've spread out all over the world and we'd be drinking anyway and we couldn't really sort of be too much effort to sort of hide it from you in a Ministry of Magic-esque way. Don't take this away from us. Don't start claiming to be Irish. Let us have our moment in the sunshine, okay? Which is probably a bad metaphor considering 
the pigmentation of the majority of Ireland's population. Let us have our 15 minutes of fame. Eat your spuds. All the pubs will be making something somewhat resembling traditional Irish stew. Get that down your neck, that'll be good. That'll line your stomach. Make more room for, yes, yes, it'll absorb more of the alcohol, yes, yes, make you make less of a tit yourself later, yes, yes. Just even, even just some spuds, just get some spuds in you, be, yeah, you'll thank me in the long run, alright? After a few drinks, like, your mind can get a bit fuzzy and make, and make you prone to lunacy, but at no point is it ever a good idea to go, hmm, this, this is going quite well, what I think now. Ooh, ooh. This is a prime, perfect, opportune moment to bring up one of the worst tragedies in your in your country's history. Because listen to me, any Irishman worth his salt, even if they know dick all about the famine, they can bullshit about the famine for hours, and you will feel guilty, and it will ruin everyone's night. What you need to do, you just need to keep us words. Six million people, English landlords. Clad yourself in green, get your novelty ridiculous hat at the ready, grab your ice cold Guinness that you don't really like but you feel it's traditional, raise it in the sky and clink with all the people that you hold nearest and dearest and have a great night. Sending you lots of Irish love and cuddles from, from the old Italia. Have a great St Patrick's Day and I'll see you soon. Lord, the pub's shutting soon.